With the prevalence of a rising trend of drug abuse in Nigeria, there are fresh concerns over the recovery and rehabilitation process. Factors such as taboos, religious sentiments and stigmatization, among others, have continued to threaten the recovery process, putting more pressure on concerned bodies to control this drug dependence in the country. New Central's Adesha Dushoga reports. There is a growing trend of drug abuse in Nigeria, one that has become a nightmare for concerned agencies of government and private bodies. In 2018, the United Nations indicate that at least 14.3 million people aged between 15 and 64 years in Nigeria abuse drugs. There are fears that these numbers may have grown even higher. But there is even something more worrisome, and this is the challenge facing the treatment and the rehabilitation process for drug addicts. A non-governmental organization in Nigeria, Justice, Development and Peace Center is asking that attention be put into the recovery process which put a setback for the fight against drug abuse. A lot of times culturally we're disadvantaged. People are stigmatized when you know they come off rehabilitation and the tendency that they will go back is there. So we try to also help to create awareness that it's not so bad to come off a bad habit. Nobody's immune to bad habits anyway. For the fact that we don't have enough rehabilitation centers, facilities in the country, which the 2018 National Drug Use Survey has outlined. So if we don't have enough facilities for treatment, it's also a problem. And the fact that we don't have adequate professionals, um, doctors, who, psychiatric doctors who specialize in substance abuse treatment, then when you talk of the private rehabilitation centers, these are very expensive because when you talk of like 300,000 for a month's uh, uh, intervention, you're talking about 1.5, 1.8 for two, three months intervention. While issues including stigmatization, socioeconomic factors, as well as cost of rehabilitation continue to deter recovery process for patients, massive exodus of psychiatrists for greener pastures in European countries is also a major cause for serious concern. If 20 patients is seen one psychology, you can understand the overwhelming. If I'm able to see that person for, let's say for example, I'm supposed to see that person for like 45 minutes, and I understand that I'm supposed to see like 20 patients, wouldn't I be exhausted? And the level at which I'm going to interact with the person will continue to reduce. So those are some of those issues because when you don't have the manpower to deal with these things, then it will also affect the rehabilitation. The market for the sale of drugs in Nigeria seems to be thriving, despite interventions from agencies, one that has been attributed to growing demands for these substances, with expanding demographics of younger population and prevalence of socioeconomic crises like depression and mental health disorders. Addition Wao Dushoga reporting for News Central.